uh, so I am support me and I am very grateful for that. Uh, as we all know, COVID shut things down last year and I, uh, I said one very simple prayer uh, when I got the word that we were shutting down, we couldn't go into schools. Lord, help me justify my job. And uh, he brought back a memory from when I had been hospitalized at the VA and uh, I was given a little bag uh, from time to time with something in it that was just meant to encourage me. And for some reason that memory really resonated and I said, I'm going to start a student bag ministry. And it started with about 20 kids and we put it out on Facebook, you know, if, if your kid would like something, just let me know. Well, what grew from almost 20 ended up being near about 140 student bags that we would prepare and deliver uh, throughout the course. And I just got word not too long ago that this idea now is apparently going to be taken countywide. Oh. And I, I never really thought when I prayed that prayer, Lord, help me justify my job, <laughs> that it would grow like that. Uh, but through it, we, we got to reconnect with some of the students. Uh, we've seen them come to the youth center. We've seen them come to campus life. We've seen uh, uh, whole families of kids come in. Uh, in that process, too, we connected with families. Uh, there was a young uh, student who had one night uh, got really high and intoxicated. Parents called us up early in the morning to have us come down and talk to the student. Uh, ended up working with the student to see what was going on in that student's life. And uh, actually that stand right there is, is one of the ways that we, we worked with one another to open up and, and get to know what was going on. Uh, and it's the intentionality that I, I really like about this ministry. We intentionally share Christ's love with these kids. One of the things I do at a club on Monday is I will intentionally share a Bible passage and then we'll talk about it, but I also wanna make sure that they understand how it relates to their life. And uh, it, it's something that I'm thankful that I get to do. There are a lot of places in this country where if you go and you share the gospel, some people can growl at you. But, you know, if they put me in jail, I'll share it there too. So uh, it just doesn't matter to me. But, you know, I could talk some more, but there are a couple of folks here. Landon was kind enough to be willing to come up and talk a little bit about his time at Campus Life. Him and Azalea uh, over here have been... Um, two of the kids that have come the longest to campus life and I'm gonna let uh, Landon come up and share a little bit about his experience and then Candace has been nice enough to uh, talk about from a parent's perspective what it means um, for a parent to have a program like campus life here locally so Landon please come on up Don't be nervous. Yeah. I'm Lindsay, and I've been to campus for two years now, and I think it's great. Uh, Tim does, does great at what he does, and I've learned a lot about God. I do go to a church in Ashland called Riverview, and I've learned a lot about God too, but I've learned a lot here too. Uh, I come, I try to come every Monday that I can to learn more. Uh, we do awesome games. We eat food and then we uh, pick on Tim. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I think it is great. Um, then we talk about verse. We do a game that uh, go along with what we learn about God. And yeah. All right. So, uh, what what would be a highlight for you uh, in your time at Campus Life? What was there? Was there a night that sticks out to you? Um, I know I'm putting you on the spot. I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay. There's, there's been a lot um, of crazy things that go on down there. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is very, very true. Yeah, so Friday of the flag, right, Lynn? Yes. <laughs> Folks, I'm let his parents fool you. He will hustle you at pool, and uh, one of these nights, I'm looking forward to him. Uh, helping me with the demonstration of breaking boards. Yep. So cool. he's, uh, he's quite an accomplished young man. I right, yeah. really appreciate it. A uh, brown belt in Taekwondo here in Ashland too. I always say I'm never going to mess with him ever. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Landon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Landon. Yep. Candice, would you be nice enough to share a little? So my name is Candace.
My daughter is Azalea. She's been going here since sixth grade. Right now she's a freshman. She's been coming three or four years now. She is always excited to be here on Monday. She loves coming here, right? <laughs> she's always smiling. So obviously she enjoys coming here on Mondays. That's kind of you know inspiring for us too. We go to church in Omaha. So she knows about God um, in her life that way. But I would say right now as a freshman in high school, her middle school year is like sixth grade to eighth grade. You know, she's gone through a lot of dark things, seen a lot of dark things, you know, with her friends that were harming themselves. You know, she was able to help a few friends, um, some that were possibly wanting to kill themselves, you know. So, you know, just that self-confidence you know, kind of starts to plummet, but since she's been coming to campus life, I've seen, you know, that confidence in herself is coming up, you know, she's happy when it's time to leave for campus life, she's excited when I pick her up, you know, she's had a good time, she's always wanting to come. You know, if I decided to punish her, you know, I'm going to tell her I'm not going to take her to campus life, but I really <laughs> encourage her to come because that's her safe place to be here. You know, we know Tim is here. There's some other leaders that are here. You know, she's always talking about that. And so, you know, she just really appreciates it. And she looks forward to coming here for three years now. You know, she only has three years left. And hopefully she'll be involved with that after high school. And uh, yes, thank you, Tim, for all that you do here and for the volunteers and the leaders. I'd like to see Campus Life continue. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you for doing this as well. Um, working with students like Landon and Azalea uh, is truly a, a blessing for me. A little bit about my background, I grew up in a Christian home, but there was a period of my life where I deviated and I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, for whatever reason, the Lord saw fit to bring me back into ministry, and I, I struggled with that decision in, a lot because of what I had done. But there was uh, a time not too long ago where all the pain from my uh, health issues and the VA and all the mistakes that I had made, uh, the Lord showed me that in this really interesting way, he was helping prepare me for, for the ministry. And that if somebody like me who has endured a lot of pain uh, can make it through, if someone like me who has made a lot of really poor choices can still see Christ in a, in a daily walk with him and implement it into life to benefit others, uh, that's something that we need to share with the next generation. And uh, they're going to need it because times coming up, are, are you just don't know what's going to happen. And you need to instill these uh, where you can. I, I look at myself as a seed planter. I, I'm going to plant seeds in so many lives. I don't know what it's going to turn out and produce, but I am trusting that the Holy Spirit's going to carry the work forward. And, uh, you know, we got two good examples here tonight. There's uh, a lot of kids that I wish I could introduce you to. Uh, kids who at the beginning of the year who said, I don't believe there's a God, and I reject the idea of a God. And throughout the course of the year, we've been able to have those tough conversations with the kids and some of them are now at the point of, well, what would God say about this? Or, and then they want to pray and they want to engage and they want to say, okay, what, what, what more about God? And it, it's kind of interesting to see the journey that we were at at the beginning of the school year to now that they're wanting to engage in a conversation. And as long as I'm capable of doing it here in Ashland, that's what I want to keep doing. I want to be able to t approach the kids who have the tough questions and who come from the backgrounds that say, you know, we really, we really don't believe. Uh, and I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that because at one point in my journey too, I had struggles. But God's mercy and God's grace is so much greater than my cynicism. So I don't have much more. I'm sorry, I'm not going to take a lot more time. If you want to talk with me later afterwards, feel free to just grab me and uh, we can jib jab some more there. So thank you. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, sir.